car. This is the only three seat available <laughs> in a motor show, so we thought we'd come in. Hi, I'm Stuart. This is my son Evan. Uh, we're up from Oxford to have a look at the car show. We've had a fantastic time. Favourite car? Um, I like the Alpha, the new Alpha. I don't know what it's called, but it looks nice. Alpha C8 Competizione. The Mazda Fury. That's the best, best one. Right? No, the Bullet. Definitely the Sangyong. The Sangyong. Definitely. The Sangyong. The best car at the show so far, for me, has to be A, getting in the Jaguar XF because that's when we go to the church next year when I get married. My favourite car at the show would be the Mercedes McLaren SLR. Okay, my favourite car at the show would be the Mini Cooper S. <laughs> the GT... The Nissan yeah, GTR. The yeah, the Nissan GTR. Yeah. Favourite car at the show is um, probably an Aston Martin. I need to move in a bit because I can't see you. Which car yeah. do you like best? Got no idea. Probably this one actually. Lamborghini. Yeah, we like the Lamborghinis. Uh, the Alfa Romeo. Uh, we like we like the fancy girls, don't we? Yeah. What ones is he like? Dano. Blondeer. No, no, that Bentley. One of them Bentleys. Porsche 911. Pink Fiesta. Mercedes, Mercedes CLS. Mercedes Benz CLS, CLS class. It's, yeah. it's very nice. Well, my favourite car at the show is the Lamborghini. Um, because they're, the they're, they're just nice cars. They're just and nice the smart cars. car. I like the smart cars. I drive a Vauxhall um, Astra. No, Corsa, don't Corsa. I drive an old Vauxhall Corsa with a <laughs> big exhaust. What car have we got? Galaxy. Volvo. I drive a Finesse. We're not sure if it's a Fiesta or, or not. You think it's just a Ford? It's a Fiesta. Which one do you prefer? Galaxy. Volvo. <laughs> uh, I own a 1991 Mazda MX-5. I'd say it's the best car I've ever owned. I've just driven one down at the uh, MX-5 challenge and now I want a brand new one. So. Um, what was your favourite stand? Stand, stand. stand that we went to today. What's the favourite one so far? I have to say, Jaguar topped it for me. Uh, it's a personal choice. Love the XF, but I am deeply in love with the SKRS. <laughs> <laughs> the best stand was probably the um, one with all the expensive cars. Yes, the uh, yeah. what is it called? The exclusive. Uh, X Sit down, please. Okay. Ford. Anyway, thank you, Ford. We like the, most of the cars, they're nice, but we can't afford them. Unfortunately. I think Fiesta's got the nicest stand. Peugeot has the best, their this cars is quite are comfortable. nice. This is quite comfortable. Yeah. Their cars are nice. Uh, Ford, three oh, yeah. lollipops. Three ace lollies and three drinks. And we like the Fiesta yeah. and the Ford Cougar. Some good, some bad. The better ones are the ones that give you free stuff. Um, I can't say who's got the best stand because I haven't been around it all yet. I like seeing all the new car supercars that you wouldn't see on the road and stuff like that. The little supercar paddock. Oh yeah. Supercar paddock. Except that nice Maybach. Maybach was a nice one. What do you not like? Uh, Why isn't there a Starlet at the moment? Yeah, show? Starlet Glanza. We were absolutely disappointed that Volkswagen weren't here. We wanted to see the Sirocco. Kia. The Kia stand. Kia's, Hyundai's, Peugeot's, Renault's, French cars. Anything French. Anything Korean or French. Didn't like yeah. those. Or Spanish. I love the people though. They should be BMWs, yes, they should be. Come yeah, welcome to the BMWs, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Listen, I didn't like yeah. the fact that there was no VW stuff, so. Yeah, no VW. Who has the best stand in Y? Or Audi. What do you think about the environment and green driving? I think we should do it. Do you? Yeah, I think we need to this day and age. Save, it's saving up um, the future's life, isn't it? Green driving, what's green? <laughs> well, it's because, because we've got a green car, yeah. we're called green drivers. If somebody had a blue car, they'd be... Blue drivers. Yeah, well then. The motor industry is coping with environmental, cha environmental challenge, but for God's sake, environmentalists have a little bit of hope and faith in the car industry. Otherwise, you're just spouting useless rubbish. Now, green driving is, is about saving the environment. So you drive cars that don't pollute the environment. Um, it's a good idea. 
Yeah, I spend a lot of time. We love the environment and green driving. Yeah, of course we do. Yeah. Okay. And as far as environment and green driving, I just think it's an excuse to put tax on the motorist and we're already paying enough tax. Don't like green cars that I'm looking. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I really hate that they keep saying about cars is all this carbon footprint nonsense. It's rubbish. Do you know what, you know, I think they need to take in advance, one, I like the environment, I like saving uh, trees and that kind of stuff, but what they need to bear in mind is we don't want to use the bus, we don't really care what stuff comes out of the car exhaust. What they should bear in mind is making sure cars have more than one passenger. You know, the amount of cars that are on the motorway only have the driver and no one else. You know, buses aren't good for the environment either if they only have two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, he's, uh... he's going on a bit. Let's talk about something a bit more interesting. London Motor Show, absolutely fantastic. Some really brilliant cars. I think the new Vauxhall Insignia is amazing. I think that's probably the best bit of it for me. Um, and as for my carbon footprint, here it is.